what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology today we will continue with the discussion on the 40th verse from the first chapter of the gita even the first chapter is not yet over there are 46 verses total so maybe in another 2 3 days we'll finish and then we will go to the second chapter which is a very big chapter you see contents of the gita summarized I mean the second chapter all right if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed to it yet then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up at the end and share it with your family friends and colleagues whoever is interested to know the divine signs of what Lord Krishna had told everybody including Arjuna he is telling to us actually Arjuna is just a medium and before I start, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will be there. So let's start with the invocation, the prayer to our preceptors who bestowed the divine knowledge to us and thank them. Om Ajnan Timiran Dasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Ve Namaha So till now we had discussed that Arjuna is very concerned about killing his relatives because he is telling that if the family structure is destroyed the people will not be performing their religious duties and the tradition of the family where values are inculcated will be destroyed so because of that he feels that maintaining the family tradition is very important otherwise that will lead to destruction of culture which is very true actually but Lord Krishna will smash all the arguments in the coming verses so stay tuned <laughs> so one thing is uh, very important to understand here when we are reading these verses the thing is there are arguments given by Arjuna here which are actually logical which means they seem to be logical <laughs> which means even people like us can uh, give such arguments and they may be actually logical but the question is are they logical from a spiritual perspective from a higher perspective for that we have to wait till Lord Krishna enters all right so stay tuned till then okay so now we will see the 40th verse I don't know how many verses we will be able to check today all right let's see so the 40th verse is as follows Adharma Bivita Krishna Pradushyanti Kulastriya Strishu Dustav Varshena Jayate Varana Sankara Varana Sankara is the word which is used. Okay, so the translation to this verse is as follows. When irreligion is prominent in the family, O Krishna, the women of the family become polluted. And from the degradation of womanhood, O descendant of Vrishni, comes unwanted progeny. Who is descendant of Vrishni here? Lord Krishna himself. Vrishni. He is a great personality in that lineage. And that is why Queen Kunti, when she prays in the Srimad Bhagavatam to Lord Krishna, she also says, shatter my attachment. Not attachment, my affection to the Vrishnis and to the Pandavas. So, the purport to this verse is as follows. Good population in human society is the very basic principle for peace, prosperity and spiritual progress in life. So, three things. Peace, prosperity and spiritual progress. For them, the population has to be good. Otherwise, these three will not be there. And that is the predicament of the modern society today. There is neither peace, nor prosperity, nor spiritual progress. Well, now you may say, but people are having more money, but the prices are going up and people are buying more and more goods and they are not getting satisfied. So there's actually no prosperity in Kaliuga. The Varnashrama religion's principles were so designed that the good population would prevail in the society for general spiritual progress of state and community. Because in the Varnashram system, people would be engaged according to their mental, physical and psychophysical natures. All right. That is why they would prevail in the society for the general spiritual progress of the state and community. That means when people were good, it was very easy to be uh, spiritually uh, progressive. Yes, because then you would have long time to 
focus on spiritual matters but if people are in turmoil inside then and that will manifest outwardly also and because of that you will see that even if you want to practice certain things then you will have terrible opposition outside sometimes our family members sometimes our friends they will not let us practice all right everybody has faced this including myself such population depends on the chastity and faithfulness of its womanhood so women's purity is very much emphasized here by arjuna as children are very prone to be misled women are sim- similarly very prone to degradation why because scriptures say that women they are like children <laughs> which means that uh, it is very easy to fool them you can just say certain things and that is why they get cheated by many men because men can very easily fool women see women can also fool men how women can very easily seduce a man seduce a man sexually it is very easy to seduce a man <laughs> because that's his uh, nature that's his physical nature man is more on a physical level man wants more physical enjoyment all right so that is why a uh, man can be very easily seduced by women sexually but women can be fooled easily you can speak words like there are so many men who will speak very sweetly and then women will say no 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 i will not fall prey to his sweet words but uh, ultimately you still fall right <laughs> so it's written here as children are very prone to be misled women are similarly very prone to degradation degradation because if they are not with the right people with the right men especially all right then they can be very much degraded because women have a tendency to subtly because it's the feminine energy and feminine energy follows the masculine subtly by default they have this tendency to replicate whatever the man is doing the husband so if the husband is indulging in sinful habits the women will also degrade not necessarily always but the probability is very high that the women also degrades if the man is degraded provided so it is very recommended for women that they choose the people especially members of the opposite sex very carefully with whom they want to spend the rest of their life or who they want to be around because that will greatly influence them therefore both children and women are required protection by the elders of the family this is not physical protection physical protection is needed of course because uh, uh, women's body has lot of other challenges which uh, men's body don't have but that is not very important physically you may not be tormented always but most importantly is the mental and spiritual protection which should be given to women otherwise they can degrade very easily by being engaged in various religious practices women will not be misled into adultery so if generally uh, if women uh, they are from a very good cultured family you know, their family is very religious they do a lot of spiritual activities then even i have seen in my experience that these uh, the women of that family they are they are quite well behaved they are quite well mannered and on the other hand i will not comment <laughs> according to chanakya pandit women are generally not very intelligent and therefore not trustworthy chanakya pandit says women are not very intelligent my god if a feminist reads this we shall blast him <laughs> and therefore not trustworthy see not intelligent doesn't mean that they cannot solve mathematics or they cannot solve physics chemistry all right it simply means that they do not have the natural inquisitiveness for spirituality women are generally more materialistic because if you see it's very funny if you go to in india there is this programs called satsang the number of women will always be more in the satsang but even if they go there they will be talking oh my neighbor's daughter she got married to this person my daughter has brought this my son has bought this car i mean if you want to talk of all this then why do you go to the satsang <laughs> but it's better that you go to the satsang at least instead of sitting in home and watching tv so that is why chanakya pandit says they are not very intelligent because 
even if they have this simplicity by which they can accept God, but still they are very materialistic. They are always thinking of home, beauty, luxury, this, that, and their minds are caught up with all this. That means they cannot see that these things will not give them higher fulfillment. All right. That is why it is very important for women that they stay with a man who is spiritually elevated. Otherwise, they will not follow spiritual life. They may be religious, but being religious inside and following a spiritual path is both are completely different things. So, the different family traditions of religious activities should always engage them and thus their chastity and devotion will give birth to a good population eligible for participating in the Varnashram system. So, if women are sexually exploited, then, because see what happens, the man will only give the semen, but the child will stay in the womb of the mother for nine months, right? So, women have much more power to impact the child positively or negatively once it is in the womb. Because the child is associating 24 hours with the mother. It is not associating with the father, right? So that is why even in the Mahabharata, we have examples like uh, there was this Abhimanyu who learned how to break inside the chakra view when he was in the womb of the mother. And there are different studies which have also shown that uh, children who have been exposed in their womb, I mean the mothers of the children who have been exposed to meditation, spiritual music, you know, good things basically, good not materially, not that you are eating ice cream all the time, uh, good means spiritually very vibrant, very positive, then uh, the children who have been born, they have been very much less prone to depression, anxiety and all those negative traits because the mother had been very, was very positive, that is why. And then, uh, so the different family traditions of religious activity should always engage them and thus their chastity and devotion will give birth to a good population eligible for participating in the Varnashrama system. So this simply means that if the women are well protected physically, mentally, psychophysically, emotionally and spiritually, that's the most important thing. Then what happens is uh, the population which is born is of a very good quality and then they are eligible to participate in the Varnashrama system which means they can accordingly decide what they want to be. They want to be a Brahmana or a Chatriya or a Vaishya or a Shudra depending on their qualities. On the failure of such Varnashrama system naturally the women become free to act and mix with men and thus adultery is indulged in at the risk of unwanted population. So if women recklessly indulge in adultery, then it is said here that there will be unwanted population, unwanted progeny. That is meant by the word Varna Sankara. Irresponsible men also provoke adultery in society. <laughs> now comes the men. And thus unwanted children flood the human race at the risk of war and pestilians so see somebody who reads this verse they may feel oh why are they only attacking women first of all nobody is attacking anybody the importance of purity of women is very much emphasized here because the child will stay more with the women more with his mother i mean rather than staying with his father right and that doesn't mean that men are given a license to do anything they want no whoever indulges in adultery they will have to suffer. That is very dreaded sin. So don't think if you are a man and you are reading this verse or you are seeing this video, don't think that you have a free license. All right. You are not exempted from anything. But here in this verse, the importance of chastity for women is been emphasized. So if somebody is hearing this video and they are thinking, oh, scriptures are telling like this only two women. No, it's not like that. It is not telling only two women. But in this verse, they are talking about women. So don't think that why they are talking of women, why not of men. Already it has been told here that in the company of degraded men who are only interested in sense enjoyment, like drinking wine, enjoying food and enjoying sex life. So in the company of such people, women will naturally degrade. So it is, so the essence of this video is 
that women are recommended to choose their life partners very carefully and when they choose they must check what are their spiritual merits you may see if they have a good job or how they look or how they behave all those things are fine it's not wrong to see all those things because we all need money to stay right otherwise how will we stay if the person is not working but that doesn't mean they are your only criteria your foremost primary criteria of selection of uh, your husband should be no no not should be must be as per this verse that you see if they are spiritually well connected if they are following their guru all right and if they are doing their spiritual practices because if they are not doing i am sorry to say you will also not do <laughs> or you may do but the magnitude will reduce i have so many examples in my own family itself that the uh, some ladies who got married to somebody in my family before marriage they were quite religious they used to do so many things but after getting married to some people in my family unfortunately the men they are not following any spiritual culture and then their wives they have also degraded they have also left following so many things which they were doing before marriage so the one thing which you need to understand from this verse is please very be very careful how to choose a person all right do not go on the money or on the externals those things can be there it's not wrong to be there but you have to check if the person is spiritually rooted i'm not saying elevated <laughs> he may not be elevated spiritually but he should be performing spiritual activities and if that also he is not doing it is good if you reconsider the decision all right that is it from my side if you are new to the channel and you are not subscribed to it yet then please subscribe to it below and if you want a personal consultation from me then approach me in my website very nice is below and if you like this video click the thumbs up of course and share it with everybody until next time with the 41st verse of the gita five more five more to go 41 42 43 44 45 46 my god six verses are there we will finish it within the next 3 days maybe all right until next time bye bye see you